Welcome to this painting tutorial. How's it going everyone? Welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to paint a Kacharadan Space Marine. This is a pretty simple color scheme. It's very monochromatic. It's only blacks, grays and white uh, with the addition of the gold and yellow eye lenses. In general this is a pretty cool chapter so I hope you enjoy this video. And if you like it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, that really helps my channel, and I will start. I'm going to start by priming the model in white. Uh, white or gray primer is good. Uh, I would suggest getting something very close to Dawnstone, because that's going to be the first layer. And this color is not very good at covering over other colors, even white. Uh, so you need uh, at least two or three coats of this paint. Uh, just make sure to thin it down and apply it quickly. Um, stretch the paint well and don't let it pull anywhere. Just give it a thin coat very quickly and let it dry and give it a second one or a third one if necessary. But this is pretty much the main color that we, that we need. If you're starting for, from uh, darker colors uh, like a black primer for any reason, you have to first use Mechanica Standard Gray and then apply this on top of it. But because we're trying to save time and effort to make a quick color scheme, uh, we can start with a lighter primer and use a thin uh, layer paint that will uh, cover a little bit easier over a lighter primer. Here I'm using Lead Belcher and I'm, I'm painting all of the places that are going to be silver. Uh, I'm moving in and doing the whole, the whole, all of the colors of the model uh, and then shading the whole thing because most of the colors they use the same shade uh, which is going to be just known oil because it's just grays and whites and black so I'm trying to paint all those, those steps before I move any further and here I'm using Vallejo model color black and painting the shoulder pads and all of the details uh, in between the uh, joints of the armor and um, Basically, all, all of the places that might be uh, silver on other chapters are pretty much black on this uh, Charadons. Next, I'm going to use Celestra Grey, and with this color I'm going to base coat the places that I want to be white, uh, which is just the face, uh, the face plate on the helmet. And as always, uh, make sure to use uh, thin layers, thin down your colors with water, or whatever medium you prefer so that uh, you can keep the detail and you avoid any marks and stuff like that. Uh, here I'm going to use known oil and with a fine detail brush I'm gonna come in and shade all of the recesses on the armor. I'm very fond of this technique of uh, only shading the recesses now, uh, especially on places uh, where the color is very bright or very light, such as this gray or whites or yellows. Uh, this is this makes uh, the cleanup process a lot easier and you don't really need to cover a, a lot of layers over and over again over a completely shaded model. Sometimes you want to shade the whole thing, sometimes you want to just shade the edges, I mean the, uh, the recesses, but overall and uh, especially on light colored models I like doing this instead. Once that's done, I'm going to use Administratum Gray, and this is going to be an edge highlight on all of the edges of the gray. Uh, this I found this a uh, gray color. It didn't need any more highlights than this. You can take it a little further if you want, adding a little bit of white to the uh, Administratum Gray once you're done with this, this edge highlight, and then add it to the most sharpest edges. But I think the color difference between the gray, the Dawnstone and the Administratum gray, it's uh, kind of stark. It looks very good and it really doesn't need any more highlighting, in my opinion. But you can if you want. And uh, I used a little bit of drying retarder uh, to help me keep the paint wet for longer. And so that I can uh, paint all of those edges easier. Next I'm going to use Runefang Steel. As always, I'm going to highlight the just the, the silver details around the model, which shouldn't be that many. Uh, the pictures of the Kacharadons don't have a lot of silver details. I only I did the bolter and the exhausts on the backpack, and I also did the dots on the on the feet and the, these random little balls in the armor. 
but I changed my mind uh, far farther in the tutorial and I did them uh, gold instead. Here I am highlighting the black with Eshin Gray. I didn't bother to uh, highlight the shoulder pads, but you can if you want. Uh, I find that uh, it's more effective uh, most of the time just using it on the sharpest edges, and that's what I did. I only used it on all of the edges of the black. And then I'm going to use Dawnstone again, and with this color I'm going to only uh, highlight the most sharpest uh, corners on the black, just to give it that really um, extreme highlight that looks very good. I also used it on other places such as the back on the uh, of the knee and in between the, the armor joints just in the very brightest spots. Next with Jokero Orange I'm going to start coloring in the lenses and this is the first real color that you're going to see on your miniature because it's all very black and white up until this point and after that I'm going to use Averland Sunset to color in uh, about half of the front part of the lens. Just working in a little uh, co yellow color transition and uh, the Jokero Orange looks very good as a shadow. And then Aerial Yellow, I'm going to use this on the very front part of the lens, just a little dot to make the brightest spot on the lenses of the helmet. After that, I'm going to uh, color in the faceplate with Ultwin Gray as a very um, almost white highlight, just avoiding all of the recesses. And to finish it up, I'm going to use white, model color white. You can use any other white you like, like White Scar. And with this, I'm going to color in uh, one, just one little dot on the back part of the lens to indicate like a reflection of light. And then uh, it's highlighting all of the white places around the armor. After that, I'm going to paint the gold and I'm going to start with Retributor armor. I really like this very uh, bright yellow uh, color. It's not always that effective uh, when you want a more brassy gold but it's a very good, uh, very shiny um, yellow gold, if that's what you're aiming for. And the photos I saw about the Kacharadon had this really yellow gold, so it works. This paint is uh, really um, thin and particular. It covers very well, but it's thin. Uh, don't let it sit too long on your palette because it'll become tacky. Make sure to thin down the color. Especially if you feel like it's not covering, it's not flowing too well, just uh, make sure to thin it down again. Just thin all of your paints uh, once you put them on your, on your palette, because uh, you don't want to use any color straight out of the pot. Here I'm using Agrax Earthshade, and with this I'm going to shade uh, all of the places that are going to be gold, but only the places that had recesses. Uh, because there's no point on shading uh, like the edge, uh, the rim of the uh, shoulder pad when, where there are no um, details there. Next with Liberator Gold, I'm going to uh, highlight uh, all of the gold parts on this miniature, just uh, painting all of the edges with this. Uh, leaving a little bit of the other color behind, if you can. And make sure to really, really shake this uh, pot of color. Uh, very well and also steer it with a little toothpick or something because it separates a lot and you n almost never get the exact color that you want with this color. It's barely no noticeable and I would recommend you to do that. And this is the finished product. I had a lot of fun painting this uh, miniature. The only thing I would do different is to try to find a very close gray primer uh, because downstone doesn't cover that well but it's not that big of a deal you can uh, layer it but definitely a uh, gray primer similar to Dawnstone would uh, really speed up the process on painting uh, this miniatures so that's it I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it entertaining and helpful and if you want to support my channel you can leave a comment like the video and share this video with your friends your engagement with the videos really helps out the channel uh, so that's very important and thank you very much for watching if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you would like to send me a miniature to paint, uh, you can contact me through Facebook. The links are in the description below. 
thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. You stayed, great. Thank you very much for supporting my channel and if you would like to become a patron, there is a link to my Patreon page in the description below. Your contributions help pay for my work and keeps the channel going. A single dollar a month is more than enough and you can cancel at any time. If you can't, don't worry, you can support my channel by simply watching my videos and sharing them with your friends. Thank you for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.